There is a freaking dinosaur fossil down here. Fossils are more than just relics. They are the cryptic storytellers of bygone beings. From huge monsters that controlled the land to mysterious underwater dwellers who defied imagination. Prepare to be astounded by the stories these fossils have painstakingly held on to for millions of years as we dust off the sands of time. The little calf muscles of the uh, dinosaur, they're bulging out. Here are 15 incredible animal fossils. Number 15, Nodosa Ur. The Nodosa Ur, an armor-plated plant-eating dinosaur that lived around 110 million years ago, is one of history's most amazing fossil finds. This extraordinary specimen has one of the best-preserved dinosaur skulls ever discovered. Unlike most fossils, which consist of bone and tooth pieces, the Nodosa Ur's remnants include actual skin and armor that extends from its skull to its hip. In 2011, mine workers digging for crude oil in Canada discovered large brown rock formations resembling ribs. They had no idea that these structures were hiding the remains of a dinosaur. Over the course of six years, careful efforts were expended in cleaning and protecting the dinosaur's bones. The end result is an enthralling view into the past, providing a fairly accurate picture of how the species appeared ages ago. The Nodosa Ur is presently on display in the prestigious Royal Tyrrell Museum, where it is a source of great pride and satisfaction for the organization. The discovery of the dinosaur is a rare occasion in which the whole length of an ancient creature's traits has been magnificently preserved, giving researchers and enthusiasts an unprecedented opportunity to examine its anatomy and ecology. Traditional fossil discovery sometimes forces researchers to put together a story from fragments, but the Nodosa Ur provides a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to learn more about this creature's physiology. Its wonderfully preserved armor and skin provide fascinating details about the dinosaur's appearance and lifestyle. What began as normal crude oil drilling evolved into an astonishing discovery of prehistoric life. The Royal Tyrrell Museum's acquisition of this rare fossil not only strengthens its position as a center of paleontological excellence, but also encourages people from all over the world to marvel at the intricate details of the ancient world. Visitors are taken back in time as they gaze at the superbly preserved Nodosa Ur fossils, connecting with a monster that once walked the earth millions of years ago. Number 14. T-Rex. Tyrannosaurus Sioux is a unique relic in paleontology, exhibiting the biggest and most perfectly preserved T-Rex fossil yet discovered. The nickname Sioux lends a more enticing identification, partially in honor of Sue Hendrickson, the perceptive discoverer of this astonishing find. This 80% complete Tyrannosaurus Rex represents a momentous scientific discovery and now demands a prominent location within Chicago's Field Museum. Nonetheless, Sue's confession reveals a complicated story. Sue's discovery in the Black Hills of South Dakota in 1990 sowed the beginnings of a lengthy ownership battle. The soil where her remains were discovered was tainted with a complicated legal situation. Sue Hendrickson and a team of paleontologists Peter Larson, founder of the Black Hills Institute of Geological Research, led the trip in search of prehistoric remains. Their venture featured a monetary deal with landowner Maurice Williams, who provided them access to his land in exchange for a $5,000 payment. Sue Hendrickson's unexpected finding of fractured bones and vertebrae kicked off the excavation of Sue's fossilized remains after weeks of painstaking scouring. Over the next several weeks, Painstaking work encased the fossil in cement to protect it during transfer to the Black Hills Institute. The bones were carefully prepared for display here. A closer look at several bone specimens revealed traces of damage, indicating attacks that eventually led to the T-Rex's actions. However, joy quickly turned to dismay when federal officials pounced on the Institute, seizing Sue and all associated data. There were allegations that the squad had stolen the remains from federal property. Furthermore, Morris Williams declared his ownership of the dinosaur, saying it was located within Sioux Nation territory, Indian Trust Land, which complicated matters further. Sioux's skeleton bones remained in government custody for 18 months, while legal pressure mounted on Larson and his staff. A legal ruling later granted Morris Williams possession of Sue. Williams subsequently oversaw the skeleton's auction through Sotheby's, which resulted in an astounding $7.6 million sale. 
Throughout the story, Larson continues to lead the Black Hills Institute and pursue scientific research. His team has even discovered 11 partial Tyrannosaurus Rex skeletons, adding to the study of paleontology. Number 13. Diplodocus. Diplodocus is a fascinating figure in the mysterious world of fossils, distinguished by the abundance of information it has revealed. This discovery is enormously significant inside the gloomy depths of paleontological investigation. The first discovery of Diplodocus occurred in 1877, earning it the nickname Double Beam. This nomenclature is based on the unique arrangement of the bones in its tail. Following that, steel magnate Andrew Carnegie made a large contribution of full skeletons, which he gifted to the public. Diplodocus grabbed notice with its huge size during the late Jurassic period, roughly 150 million years ago. Its enormous neck and tail merged, making it a whopping 53 meters long. The creature's front legs were lower in height than its rear limbs, indicating a penchant for the fearsome Diplodocus held a devastating weapon in its long, serpentine tail, despite its little height. Experts believe that this appendage acted as a form of protection or perhaps violence. The tail's robust construction refers to its potential as a devastating weapon in combat. The fearsome Diplodocus held a devastating weapon in its long, serpentine tail, despite its little height. Experts believe that this appendage acted as a form of protection, or perhaps violence. The tail's robust construction refers to its potential as a devastating weapon in combat. Diplodocus vertebrae are available for purchase on the marketplace for $1,500. The appraisal of such an item stimulates reflection on its value and importance. This physical link to a prehistoric past stimulates reflection on the complex interaction of time, evolution, and humanity's yearning to comprehend and possess parts of Earth's history. Number 12. Coelophysis. Coelophysis, a small carnivorous dinosaur that lived in North America from 208 to 230 million years ago, was a predatory dinosaur that roamed the landscapes. Coelophysis, a member of the Podocosauridae family, which includes tiny and nimble dinosaurs. However, don't go on his small size because this dinosaur was not only a carnivore, but also a cannibal. Mature Coelophysis specimens grew to be around 10 feet long and approximately 3 feet tall at the hips. Hollow bones and vertebral cavities fortified its skeleton, an evolutionary characteristic that maintained its weight within the range of 50 to 100 pounds, earning it the name Coelophysis, which translates to hollow form. The creature had an elongated and thin neck and tail, and its head, albeit long and narrow, was proportionally tiny in comparison to its body. With little serrated teeth, its mouth was a powerful instrument for predation. Coelophysis adopted a bipedal posture, moving about on two legs. Its limbs, while little, had three-fingered hands that ended in vicious claws. The creature had slender and wiry legs, with three toes on each foot and an extra dew-claw body and skeletal structure, suggesting speed and agility. Fossil evidence indicates that it prefers to live in woods near streams and lakes, typically in communal groups, possibly families. Scavenging from carcasses is a speculative activity that adds to its ecological purpose. Coelophysis made its scientific debut in 1889 with the discovery of fossils in New Mexico. The famed paleontologist Edward Drinker Cope was important in characterizing the creature's remains, highlighting its historical significance. Subsequent excavations at Ghost Ranch in New Mexico revealed the bones of a large number of species, implying familial living and collective mortality due to catastrophic occurrences was the reason for their extinction. A rare discovery of young skeletal remains inside of two adult specimens spurred researchers to consider cannibalistic activities within the Coelophysis community. Number 11. Fighting Fossil Clayton Phipps, a rancher, and his buddy Mark Amon, known as the Dino Cowboy, started on a journey in Montana's dinosaur-rich terrain in 2006. In addition to ranch work, the couple followed their interest in paleontology by attending trade exhibits and selling fossils to museums and private collectors. Their search came to an end when they discovered two petrified dinosaurs engaged in an ancient battle on a Montana mountainside. These prehistoric rivals were a 22-foot-long theropod, possibly a T-Rex, and a 28-foot-long ceratopsian from 66 million years ago. The specimens were remarkably well-preserved, resembling mummies rather than typical fossils. The idea of preserving soft tissue heightened my curiosity even further. The issue of ownership rapidly emerged, casting doubt on the astonishing find. 
Due to intricate concerns of surface and subsurface property rights, the ranchers who discovered the fossils, the landowners, and Marie Minerals, a mineral rights management organization, all became stakeholders in a convoluted ownership battle. The possible financial bonanza connected with this extraordinary finding adds another degree of complication. While the importance of the fossils was undeniable, their placement and accessibility sparked debate. Clayton Phipps mentioned their existence in an American museum, but concealed specifics. On the other side, powerful organizations like the Smithsonian insisted on complete openness, stating that without public access for research and viewing, the importance of the fossils decreases, and rejecting to match the $15 million price. The battling dinosaurs went up for sale at Bonhams in New York in 2013. However, no bid matched the reserve price of $6 million. Despite their charm and thrill, such intriguing discoveries frequently bring drama and difficulty. Number 10. Archaeopteryx. The oldest recorded bird is Archaeopteryx, which lived in the late Jurassic era. Its relevance stems from its ability to bridge the evolutionary gap between dinosaurs and bird animals. The discovery of the fossil in Germany in the year 1860 marked a watershed moment in paleontological research. Though commonly referred to as the first or first bird, this distinction is not totally accurate. Nonetheless, the findings advance the research with feathered plumage, wing structures, and hollow bones similar to birds. Nonetheless, it preserved characteristics such as fangs, legs, and a bony tail resembling little dinosaurs. Its name, which translates to ancient wing, accurately describes its evolutionary position. The next year, more excavating revealed a headless specimen. Approximately 11 to 12 Archaeopteryx specimens have been discovered in the intervening time. These fossils are from the late Jurassic period, 150 million years ago. The creature was the size of a raven, weighing up to 2.2 pounds and had broad, rounded wings and an extended tail spanning up to 50 centimeters. While it had the physical ability to fly, the Archaeopteryx was a flapper, flying in short bursts rather than the soaring movements of magnificent pterodactyls. This carnivorous monster has reptile fangs, demonstrating its predatory nature and allowing it to hold its victim with a terrifying bite. With its combination of avian and predatory features, the mental image of a toothed bird in flight inspires awe. With a perfectly preserved skull, this species acquired a permanent home at the Humboldt Museum, where it continues to enchant visitors. Number 9. Carbone mine. Turtles, respected for their magnificent presence and adored across the world, provide a window into the enthralling realm of aquatic life. While present waters only contain a small percentage of the numerous turtle species that have existed throughout history, this monster, which lived in what is now Colombia some 60 million years ago, gives a vivid image of the prehistoric regions. The discovery of these fossils in a coal mine began in 2005. The astonishing discoveries prompted the discovered species to be named Carbone Miss Cofrini, which translates to coal turtle. The name alludes to the origin of the fossils, as well as the creature's distinguishing features. The original find was distinguished by the finding of a skull measuring an incredible nine and a half inches in length. Soon later, the dig uncovered a shell measuring five feet seven inches in length. This exceptional specimen belonged to various side neck turtles, and its sheer size established the existence of enormous freshwater turtles in the region. Aside from the creature's enormous size, the fossil revealed its own surprise. The specimen had an extraordinarily strong jaw, which was a significant characteristic. Carbone mice, being an omnivore, would have used their strong jaw to quickly swallow a variety of species, from mollusks to smaller turtles and maybe even crocodiles. This fossil's predatory prowess elusive sedates the creature's function as a dominant force in its prehistoric surroundings. Notably, Carmoni's only fossil specimen stands as a lone sentinel of its type. This singularity is most likely due to the vast amount of acreage necessary to maintain a human of such magnitude. With voracious appetites to feed their massive bodies, these turtles would have seized vast areas. Number 8. Mosquito. When Jurassic Park charmed audiences, the idea of fossilized mosquitoes storing blood samples from prehistoric species sparked suspicion. However, the decades that followed saw extraordinary findings that defied explanation. One of the most intriguing occurrences occurred in northwestern Montana in 2013, when an incredible artifact appeared. A mosquito consumed a blood meal 46 million years ago and died under mysterious circumstances, plunging to the depths of a pond. The mosquito's body was progressively coated by silt throughout epochs, becoming caught under a slab of shale. 
The discovery of this petrified insect shocked experts who examined it under microscopes. The abdomen of the bug looked to be overflowing with blood. Scientists discovered the truth by using modern techniques such as scanning electron microscopes and mass spectrometers. They verified the presence of iron and porphyrin molecules, both of which are unambiguous blood indicators. This game-changing discovery challenged the prevalent belief that genetic material could not withstand the ravages of time over such enormous temporal gaps. This accomplishment not only rewrites the preservation story, but also raises the subject of blood composition, preservation methods, and the possibility of gaining insight into the ancient creatures it previously supported. The task ahead is to carefully retrieve a blood sample without jeopardizing the integrity of the fossil. This project aims to discover how certain blood molecules survive survived millennia, and whether this ancient fluid contains clues to the creature's identity. Number 7. Four-Legged Snake The intriguing evolutionary journey of snakes has always piqued the interest of scientists. The crucial question of whether these species evolved from limbless ocean dwellers, or if their leg lessness evolved as an adaptation through time has been a focus of ongoing research. However, the search for fossils capable of resolving this disagreement has been difficult. The tides of scientific thinking did not alter until a stunning discovery in 2015. The newly discovered fossil depicts a snake-like animal with a long body and a shortened tail, similar to the present slither of modern snakes. Surprisingly, this organism had the characteristics of a burrower, indicating that it lived on land. Its little limbs were a crucial surprise, providing a fascinating clue regarding its evolutionary path. The presence of these limbs sparked the scientific community's curiosity, implying that the transition from limbed to limbless may not have occurred in the expected order. However, the euphoria over this fossil was tempered by a disappointing caveat. It was from a private collection and lacked the critical data that comes with confirmed scientific discovery. The lack of specific information about its origin and acquisition diluted the significance of this finding. While the geological background indicates Brazil's Carto formation, which dates back around 130 million years, the mystery deepens owing to questions regarding the specimen's legal procurement. In general, fossils from private collections are seldom subjected to scientific examination to guarantee that they comply with international rules. Number 6 fish lungs. When it comes to fossils, lungs are rarely a prominent focus of study for obvious reasons. Lungs, being squishy organs, tend to evaporate after a few years of an animal's mortality. However, in the early 2021, scientists discovered a rare find, a preserved lung going back 66 million years. This finding, best defined as a one-in-a-million surprise, calls into question the mainstream narrative. It demonstrates that paleontology can reveal surprising relics that defy expectations. This incredible find's path was marred by early assumptions. The discovery of the fossil with a collection of pterosaur bones prompted experts to jump to the conclusion that it belonged to the flying reptile. A deeper look, however, revealed a paradigm change. The scientific world was surprised to realize that the relic was not a pterosaur lung as previously supposed. It was, instead, a piece of a giant fish's respiratory organ, a lung from a species known as coelacanths. This find is notable not just for its odd character, but also for the extraordinary preservation of the lung over an incomprehensible period of time. The ancient lung's survival is due to its encasement within a peculiar bone barrier. This protective encasement shielded the lung from the march of time and the inevitable decay that affect soft tissues. This discovery has far-reaching consequences for our knowledge of ancient existence. It acts as a doorway into a bygone world, allowing scientists to see the delicate features of a bygone environment. The preserved lung of a coelacanth gives a rare view into the biology and anatomy of an ancient fish species, providing previously unavailable information. Now, it's time for today's subscriber pick. This bizarre animal fossil was discovered on a beach and scientists have no idea which creature it belonged to. From the shape of it, many have speculated that it could be the shell of a giant prehistoric snail. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Number 5. Plesiosaurs. The possibility of innumerable unknown and terrifying species from the past piques our interest. In 2012, researchers from Oslo University set out on a journey that would bring them face to face with a new wonder of the deep, 
the Monster of Spitsbergen. This fascinating finding occurred on the distant island of Spitsbergen, which is part of the Filbert Island group. This lonely island, known as an Arctic graveyard for ancient species, revealed a treasure mine of petrified bones. During the voyage, the crew discovered the remains of 28 incredible species, including plesiosaurs and ichthyosaurs, which reigned as the region's dominating marine predators roughly 150 million years ago. However, one exceptional specimen stole the show, garnering the title The Monster. This beautiful beast had vertebrae the size of dinner plates and sharp teeth the size of cucumbers. It was classified as a plesiosaur and had two flippers for propulsion, which aided its adept swimming. Given its size, it most likely targeted smaller members of its own species as well as a variety of aquatic prey. These ancient marine carnivores' fossils are extremely uncommon, and complete specimens are unusual. Nonetheless, the Spitsbergen discovery provided a remarkable level of preservation, with one of the biggest skulls ever discovered. While this finding has definitely altered our knowledge of prehistoric marine life, the question of these organisms' top limits remains a mystery. Some scientists believe that an even greater mega-monster of the deep is waiting to be discovered, one that dwarfs any known example in size. Number 4. Hematite tubes. Since the discovery that fossils contain the remains of ancient animals, scientists have been on the lookout for evidence about the origins of life on Earth. The findings of a group of fossils have changed the time frame of life's genesis, beyond any previously seen evidence, according to landmark research released in 2017. These remarkable discoveries provide light on living forms that existed much earlier than previously thought changing our view of the first phases of life on our planet. Certain rock outcrops act as doorways to prehistoric times. A window into the past of this kind was unearthed in northern Quebec, Canada, offering startling findings. Scientists discovered an unexpected story within this geological treasure trove, which dates back 3.7 billion years and may have originated 4 billion years ago. Researchers discovered a microcosmic world of importance by methodically scrutinizing small portions of this old rock. Within were tiny tubes made of hematite and iron oxide. Notably, these tubes included branching hematite filaments, which resembled fossils recovered recently. These modern-like structures, which have been identified as being formed by bacteria living near deep-sea hydrothermal vents, now serve as a witness to the presence of life forms similar to these ancient bacteria shockingly early in Earth's evolutionary path. The minuscule form of these fossils betrays their enormous significance, placing them among the most significant discoveries in scientific history. The significance of these ancient hematite tubes extends far beyond their small size. These microfossils challenge our preconceived notions about the origins of life, providing a fascinating insight into the prehistoric habitats that nourished these early species. They inspire a reconsideration of the environment and processes that favored the emergence of life, perhaps paving the way for new insights regarding the building blocks of life itself. Number 3. Iguanodon the discovery of a cluster of teeth in Sussex in 1822 offered the first insight into the existence of the giant herbivorous reptile known as Iguanodon. Gideon, another amateur paleontologist, set his eyes on these teeth. In search of competent counsel, he contacted luminaries such as paleontologist Georges Cuvier. Cuvier first hypothesized that the teeth belonged to a fish similar to the current pufferfish. The petrified teeth, on the other hand, were substantially enlarged iguana teeth, Based on present iguana sizes, this prehistoric resident might have reached lengths of 18 meters or more. Our current knowledge pegs Iguanodon at roughly 10 meters in length. As a result, Gideon invented the term Iguanodon. Gideon's quest for further Iguanodon evidence continued for many years, yielding countless isolated bones and teeth. However, his search for smaller bits took an unusual turn in 1834, when an explosion fractured a rock slab at a limestone quarry in Maidstone, Kent. This finding, known as the Maidstone Slab or Mantel Piece, occurred when explosives fractured a rock mass. The quarry owner, William Harding Benstead, spotted a strange material like petrified wood amid the broken bits. He picked up the pieces and put them together, exposing a fascinating collection of bones. Rib pieces, vertebrae, pelvic bones, leg bones, and most importantly, a tooth fragment and its impression were among the bones retrieved. Notably, the search for entire iguanodon bones reached a climax in March 1878 in a Belgian coal mine near Bernice Art. 
Miners working at depths of 300 meters discovered a cache of bones coated in pyrite, sometimes known as fool's gold. Approximately 30 Iguanodon skeletons emerged from the mine's depths, with several of them astonishingly well-preserved and quite complete, providing a wealth of information about these mysterious prehistoric giants. Number 2. Mosasaurus. The Mosasaurus, an awe-inspiring prehistoric aquatic reptile, is an example of ancient marine predators. With its enormous size and unusual traits, this creature captivates paleontologists and fans alike. The Mosasaurus, with its serpentine appearance and extended body, might reach a length of 50 feet. Its sleek body and strong flippers let it transverse the waters with incredible agility. Large eyes and strong fangs complemented its intimidating look, showing its function as a top predator of its period. The Mosasaurus belonged to the Mosasaur family, a group of marine reptiles that lived between 70 and 65 million years ago during the late Cretaceous era. Unlike current aquatic reptiles like whales and dolphins, the Mosasaurus breathed air and had to surface to breathe. Its flippers, which resembled those of current sea turtles, allowed for precision navigating in its underwater domain, while its jaws, which were equipped with interlocking teeth, were designed for grabbing and eating prey. The earliest sighting of the Mosasaurus occurred in the early 18th century when a fragmentary skull was discovered in the Netherlands. However, more complete bones of the species were not discovered until the early 19th century. The famous scientist and comparative anatomy pioneer Georges Cuvier was instrumental in putting together the creature's anatomy based on the existing fossils. Surprisingly, in the late 19th and early 20th century, a succession of expeditions led to the finding of numerous Mosasaurus fossils, not only in Europe, but also in North America. These magnificent reptiles lived in the Western Interior Seaway, a large body of water that separated North America during the late Cretaceous period. Researchers discovered Mosasaurus fossils throughout Kansas, South Dakota, and even areas of Canada, shedding light on their existence and ecological importance. The Mosasaurus played an important role in the late Cretaceous marine ecology, serving as an apex predator that preyed on lesser marine creatures. Its discovery and subsequent investigation continue to give essential insights into the development of ancient marine life, shedding light on the vast and fascinating world of ancient marine life. Number 1. Dinosaur Egg Despite the discovery of several fossilized dinosaur eggs and nests over the last century, discovering a specimen with a well-preserved embryo remains an extremely unusual event. Notably, research has resulted in a groundbreaking discovery. Oviraptorosaurs had a specific position within their eggs prior to hatching. This stance, known as tucking, was formerly thought to be unique to birds. Most known non-avian dinosaur embryos are incomplete, with skeletons disarticulated. We were shocked to see this embryo lying in a bird-like position within a dinosaur egg. This stance was previously unknown in non-avian dinosaurs said Waisum Ma of the University of Birmingham, Ganjo, Jiangxi Province in southern China, as the location of the preserved embryo. It was originally purchased in the year 2000 by Liang Liu, the director of Yingling Group, with the intention of housing egg fossils. It was, however, afterwards stored and completely forgotten. Almost a decade later, when searching through stored artifacts during the building of the Yingling Stone Nature History Museum, museum personnel unearthed the fossils. According to Lida Xing of the China University of Geosciences in Beijing, museum staff identified them as dinosaur eggs and saw some bones on the broken cross-section of one of the eggs. Following the processing of the fossils, the hidden embryo, kindly known as Baby Yingling, was revealed. Xing and her colleagues discovered that the embryo had a distinct posture in their investigation. The head was ventral to the body, flanked on each side by the feet, and the back wrapped around the egg's blunt end. This position has never been observed in non-avian dinosaurs previously and was strikingly similar to that of a late-stage contemporary bird embryo. We hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one.